I don't think it's any secret that we're all touched by some form of art. Everybody has a favorite song. Everybody has a favorite color. It allows you to escape for some period of time into something that stimulates a different part of the brain. Art is so much more than just the visual and the aesthetic. Artists have a unique impact on community and community situations. I think any city should embrace the arts on a number of different levels. It has an impact on the psyche of a city, and from an economic standpoint, it makes sense. It used to be that urban design and city planning was really based on what businesses wanted and how you could pack the appropriate number of people into a building. And now, with millennials coming into the workforce and those who are behind them, they don't want to work in a place that doesn't feel good. And that extends not only to their actual work environment, but also to the cities they choose to live in. From its inception, the city of Topeka has been a city of opportunity. It was the town where young attorneys that graduated from Washburn University took upon the ginormous challenge of desegregating education. And by virtue of education, they desegregated everything, only in Topeka. It's something that people expect us to know more about because of where we're from. We owe it to ourselves and we owe it to the rest of the world to know that history well enough to share it with other people. I don't know that you can get every person to sit down and really dive into the nitty gritty of case law from almost 65 years ago, but you can do it through art. We were up on the second floor of the Monroe School Building looking at artwork submitted by students through the Living the Dream art contest. We just thought it's such an important perspective. So we decided that there had to be a way to make this voice louder, to give this perspective a stage and a, and a microphone and send it out into the world. I, they said, well, there's a big wall right across the street from this. And we kind of all looked out the window and we're like, it could, that would be a really good place for a mural. I think people thought we'd gone crazy. It's a big project both from the fact that it's 130 feet wide by 30 feet tall, and it's big in that it is across the street from a very important historic site in our country and in our world. To see these things actually come into being and to know that you had a part of it and that it's possible, I feel like extends to all kinds of parts of all kinds of people's lives. I think it's really great because it's not a big art scene, and this is a good way to start. It's pretty cool. I'm glad to see that the community coming out, seeing all different types of folks. I think this makes it feel more like a Topeka project than anything. Creative placemaking can go from everything from city planning to individual projects that make our space better and make us feel like we live in a place that's important and that is worth our time, worth our energy. The currency of economic development in this country right now is not necessarily big organizations or businesses moving across the country. The currency of economic development is talent. That's what arts and culture brings to the scene. It's allowed us to keep the talent here. For us to be successful as a place, we have to have a place that we see as successful and that we can see ourselves in. Art has the, the potential to be something that's for the people and it doesn't have to be something that uh, they only get to look at, but that they can be part of the process of creating it, and then ultimately part of the message that it sends. In a time in which we in this city, when there's turmoil, we paint so that our children and our children's children will never forget the price that was paid. We'll never forget that we are a community that believes in unity. We'll never forget that we are a community filled with courage and with love for one another. <laughs>